All right, so today we're gonna to take a drive through the community of Quail Ridge here in Kelowna. It's literally located right across from the airport. Right now we're sitting, I'm with Teddy by the way, uh, we're sitting in the airport village which has a bunch of shops. Uh, there's a Nestor's Market, Tim Hortons, Dairy Queen, a pizza place, a haircut, a bunch of different places here. Uh, so we're just below Quail Ridge. And then across from us here, there's a couple hotels, a gas station, uh, a few other shops and restaurants and so we're going to take a drive up the hill into quail ridge and i'll show you around if you have any questions please drop them in the comments so i can answer all your questions regarding uh, this community of quail ridge and by the way it is located uh, if you are looking say you're looking for a house online it's you won't find it under like quail ridge or anything like that it's actually in the university district so we'll head up there enjoy the trip and we'll see you in a few minutes now we're heading up the hill into the community of quail ridge there's a stop sign up here we'll just hang a left so this is the only road in and out of this community coming up here on the left and the right you'll see or you should be able to see uh, part of two different golf courses so there's the quail ridge this is the Quail Ridge community, but there's the Quail Ridge golf course and the Bear. So there's two full size golf courses up here as well. So we're gonna start our trip here on Quail Run Drive. Take a drive through a few of the roads up here. And then we'll head to Capistrano and then we'll head to up near where the condo buildings and the golf course uh, clubhouse is. Now the average home price up here is around the 1.1, 1.2 million dollar mark in that area for the single family homes. So that straight ahead, there's a dead end. And then if we go left, there's also a dead end. Just a couple cul-de-sacs. So we'll head up to this one, circle back, and then we'll go up to Capistrano.
house. We're just gonna do a loop around here. Now a lot of the houses in this community were built uh, late 90s, early 2000s, some a little bit newer, but for the most part, late 90s, early 2000s. And then the condo buildings were built a little bit later, which we'll, we'll see in a minute here. And there are a few new townhouses as well, overlooking uh, one of the 18th holes. Now we're on Quail Crescent, heading back around to Quail Run. It's Quail Lane. Teddy's getting antsy in the back. We just got back from the, the dog park, so I don't know how he still has energy, but he does. Did a quick little detour to do this video. Okay, so back to the main road, back to Quail Ridge Boulevard. Now, as you can probably see straight ahead, that's part of the golf course. And now we're gonna head to Capistrano. There's some uh, on the right here. There are some semi-detached uh, townhouses here. So there's a bunch of those up here. Condo buildings, as I mentioned, and then new townhomes up off the, off the golf course. So, Capistrano Drive, taking a right. Some people like to follow on Google Maps. So if you, if you are looking to move into this community, you wanna know exactly where I am while I'm driving, uh, you can follow along on Google Maps. So we're on Capistrano Drive, heading up. Just because Google Earth and Google Maps, if you do Street View, is actually quite old compared to what I'm doing now, especially if there's newer, newer communities, if I'm doing videos in newer communities. So we head all the way to the top. So this just loops around. It kind of does a little. There's a road that goes back around. It, it's not a. It's not a cul-de-sac. It just does a big loop at the top. And there's other crescents and courts that jut out as well. So that's where we're going to come out, Capistrano Peaks Crescent. So that's where we're heading down into. As I mentioned, this just loops around.
back to Campus Journal Drive. Heading back down Quail Ridge Boulevard and up to the condo building area. Now you'll we'll see up there, I'll point it out when we get up there, but there is a couple of different buildings. So if you are looking for say a short-term rental, you want to do Airbnb, you want to be close to the airport, close to golf courses. Um, not just these two golf courses, there's a, a bunch of other ones that are super close as well. And yeah, close to the airport, hotels. It's perfect spot to have an Airbnb really. And I'll point that out just in those two buildings um, in just a minute here. So on the left is the golf course again. The golf course winds through this community or vice versa, the community winds through the golf course. Uh, there are some homes that are directly on the golf course as well. I don't know if you guys can hear Teddy breathing, but I apologize if you can. <laughs> Teddy bear. Okay, back to Quail Ridge Boulevard, hanging a right, and then last but not least, we're going to hang another right onto Via Central. Oh no, sorry, this is Country Club Drive, the next one is Via Central. You can always get those two mixed, mixed up. Speed bumps here. Now again on the left this is the golf course coming up here just over the hill is the 18th hole as I mentioned before where those, where those new townhomes are located. You'll probably be able to see them in the video once we drive by them. Yeah, so right here on the left, those are the new townhomes. If you're watching this in 2023, they're new, or 2024. <laughs> if you're watching this 10 years later, they're not so new. Uh, but yeah, so up here on the left, these are there's two big condo buildings um, here and then up further, which we'll, we'll head to as well in a minute. Uh, but we're he heading left here on Via Central. So these are the point at Quail Ridge, 3168 and 3178 uh, via Central if you are looking at those condos online. Those ones as of right now, those ones do not allow Airbnb uh, as of 2023. Now there is the Bortega, Borgata Lodge, sorry, uh, straight ahead here. There is units you can buy in there and they do allow Airbnb. But I think it's minimum three days or minimum seven days, one of those. I'm pretty sure, as of again, 2023. Now we'll go into the golf course here, just the parking lot. We'll do a quick loop. Show you what that's all about. So the clubhouse here up on our left, and then we'll just do a loop through the parking lot.
right, so we just looped through the parking lot there at the golf course. So again, there is two full-size 18-hole golf courses. There is a practice facility, a driving range, putting greens, and all that. Clubhouse for food, pro shop for if you need if you need a uh, extra golf balls like I usually do. <laughs> you can get all that here at Quail Ridge and the Bear. Okay, so we're gonna hang a left off of the Central back onto Country Club Drive. Hanging a left here. Now the two buildings that you'll see up on the left, those two do allow short-term rental. So again, if you are looking uh, for that specific investment property up here in Quail Ridge, you're gonna wanna look at those two buildings. And this one's called Pinnacle Point at Quail Ridge. 1875 and 1873 are the building addresses. Now if we go just a little bit further, we're gonna see really funky, they're really cool. I've always loved these townhomes. There's different rows. Uh, so that one has three in one row. Um, this one I think has more than three, three or four. So each one, uh, they're they're very unique, I should say. They're they look really cool and then they all overlook the, the valley there towards the airport. So we'll just go towards the end. So there is a dead end here. Again, if you are a student, um, it's, I had friends, when I was going to college, I had friends stay up here. Uh, they lived up here and then they would just walk straight ahead through to the university. I believe that is private property, um, I think. Uh, so you may want to be wary of that, but I know students that do walk through there So they walk from their condo buildings to the university rather than driving and paying for parking and all that Now there is a newer community here. I wonder if I should head up there. Let's do it. Country Club Estates 1678. I'll just do a quick loop through there Let's See if I can't get kicked out That's pretty much it. <laughs> There's just a few new homes up here. This is a very large home. Uh, a few new, you can see a nice view there. So looking uh, south there, that's the university. And then these three, four new homes up here that are just being completed. Beautiful homes up here. So now we're back on Country Club Drive. We're gonna head back down to Quail Ridge Boulevard. And that's pretty much it for our, our drive here, our community tour here at Quail Ridge. Again, if you are looking online, it's actually part of what's called the University District of, or the sub area of Kelowna called the University District. So you won't find, probably won't find it called Quail Ridge. But th that's what it's that's what the community up here is called it's just part of that university district sub area of Kelowna
back on Quail Ridge Boulevard. I better stop. And that pretty much does it for our drive. We're gonna head back down to, towards the little village there at the bottom. You'll get probably get more of a view uh, once we're heading back down. Again, the airport's super close. Golf courses, hotels, gas stations. They've really done it up really nice over the last few years down below. Uh, before, people that lived up here, uh, they would have to go further into town to get gas, groceries, or you know, if you just need a thing of milk or something, they'd have to go way into Glenmore um, or even to Lake Country, depending on where you wanted to go. But now that they have a little market down here, uh, you can pick up small things like that. And I should also mention that there is a uh, small industrial complex here as well with uh, self-storage. Uh, there's the vaults, which is really cool. People have their, uh, you know, it's basically a man van that you can buy in an industrial building for your fancy cars and, and all that stuff. It's really a really cool spot. Um, there's, yeah, and then there's a bunch of different uh, uh, just outlets and stuff in there as well. So that does it for our drive as we head down into the village. Thank you so much for watching. If you did get any value out of this video, please drop a like and subscribe for more. And I am a real estate agent. If you are looking for a property in Kelowna, I'd be happy to help. There is a link down below with all of my information and you can even book an appointment with me there. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.